for students with early career and technical education programming and exposure. And so there's something new this year and, is the, and it is the first building trades program designed for middle school students in the school district of Philadelphia. And one thing that we just heard in the prior segment is how critically important it is for young people to experience like the work that they would eventually be doing, or at the very least, those things that are necessary for those young people to be successful in a job or at an interview or in a field of interest uh, that they may have. And so uh, we have, we're going to talk about how we are providing even earlier access to these types of experiences in the School District of Philadelphia. So first and foremost, we have with us Mr. Jared, and Mr. Jared is a teacher. And Mr. Jared, thank you for being here with us this morning. No problem. I appreciate it. Indeed. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and how and why you got into the trades? Um, myself, my name is Evan Jerry. I'm a product of the Philadelphia School District. Um, I had some great teachers coming along. Um, Ms. Vicki Flood, that was my fifth grade teacher, fifth and eighth grade <laughs> teacher, made a huge impact on me. Um, I just, I love what I do. Um, I, I wasn't, I was originally going to be a teacher. Um, I stopped going to college. My parents didn't know. And I was working as a carpenter's helper. And my boss gave me a raise one year, got an apartment in a truck. That's my story. And <laughs> I don't, I mean, it, I don't regret it. Not one bit. I love the journey that it took me on. And honestly, life has turned full circle. I'm back teaching. And we are glad that you're back teaching, Mr. Jared. And thank you, um, thank you for providing us with that information. And so I understand your class provides students with hands-on experiences in the trades like construction and plumbing that your middle school students are doing. And, and they're doing things like installing sinks, sweating copper, wiring a basic light switch and framing. But so can you talk a little bit about um, all of these things that your young people are experiencing? Yes. Um, I run a high school program in a middle school setting. Um, there you go. And some classes I treat like a job site, and I put them in real world situations where I say, okay, we have this sink base. Here's the faucet. Here's the drain. Here's the P-trap. I want you to hook everything up. And that's how I judge them off what they can do with their hands. So we do our theory in the classroom, but grading is done off what you can do with your hands because a lot of students work well with their hands and that's how we that's how that's how we roll in the classroom um it's a great classroom best school in the district best students in the district and my classroom is just honestly it's a product of the trust the administration has in me to let me do what i do i mean you got michael jordan in the building let him be michael jordan indeed indeed and so and you're obviously doing some fantastic work and giving your young people the opportunities that are being made available to them to connect to these experiences in the classroom. So on Monday, this class is going to be featured, your class is going to be featured in season two of the docu-series American Plumber Stories. Yeah. And it's a series launched by Feister to promote the plumbing trade to the next generation of professionals. What can we expect to see and how can we tune in to and see what this experience will be like? Um, you're going to, listen, you're going to see a lot. You're going to see actually <laughs> students sweating copper pipe. I listen, I show you how to do it once. It's your job to do it. And then what happens, I have the students teaching to their, their students. Um, it's a huge collaboration, um, hundred percent engagement. Um, it's going to be on American plumber stories, their YouTube channel at, um, either nine or three o'clock. I'm not sure I'll find out, Next. but it's also that, sponsored excellent. by, it's also sponsored by Bridget. And like I said, it's a high school program in a middle school. And when you come in, you can see like all the students are engaged. Everyone's busy. I invite you out to come check us out one time before you leave us. Um, we have a great time. We have a great time. So how long have you been out there at Mayfair, Mr. Jair? Um, Last year, honestly, last year was the first year of the program. Ah. Um, I was, and honestly, the pandemic has made me a better teacher because being a career and tech teacher, we're always the good teachers everybody want to come to, but I didn't have the tools. I didn't have the shop. So yep. I had to rely on building relationships with my students even more. And I mean, those relationships has paid off because now the students know my expectations. They know what I expect. 
and everybody flies to my room. Like my room, I don't know what a prep is. My room is always packed. I never have an empty room. Yeah, and so if you're gonna add me to that list because I'm coming to oh, your come room on, next. Come on, come on, I invite you up. Yes, indeed, because this is I was a middle school principal and, and okay. thinking about thinking about like how middle schoolers would engage in this type of thing. If you just think back to when we were in middle school, right? Exactly. And not having these types of experiences, but having these types of interests, uh, but uh -huh. having to wait until high school to do this kind of stuff. And I think it's good because they can get that exposure. So if you're actually interested in plumbing, you can go to a CTE program that offers plumbing. I had yep. several students that were interested this year. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get into the school they selected, but um, the interest is there. Um, we just need to get more, get these students exposed to these programs in middle school a lot, a lot earlier, more over the city. Yeah. So, so, you know, we, we, we talked about this in the segment before you, where, uh, one of the teachers, uh, Ms. Santiago said that, you know, you got to have more principals like the principal that was encouraging young people to be in this program. Uh, mm -hmm. and are there things that your principal allowed you to do to have, children sweating copper and, and doing the types of things that plumbers would do because some principals of middle schools, I would imagine, may say, wait a second, I'm not sure we want to put these tools in the hands of middle schoolers. And so how do you deal or, or what type of support did you need from your administration in order to do these things? I say safety is the most important thing. Um, yeah. I've never had an injury since uh, when I taught high school and now that I teach in middle school, I never had an injury. We go over, like we just switched quarters to the fourth quarter it's this um, Friday and we're going over safety for two weeks. So yeah. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about safety is your job to apply it in the shop. And I have signs hanging around the shop for our safety first. They know safety is important. And then what happens is I treat it like real life. If you don't have your safety glasses on, have a seat, you get a zero for the day. Um, Cause if, it, or if you're on a job, if you get hurt, you only get that one chance. Right. And I mean, I haven't had to use, I haven't had to go to that. Um, the students know the importance of safety and we follow it. And like the administration at Mayfair, they're excellent. Um, it's not micromanaging. Like I said, they let Michael Jordan be Michael Jordan. I mean, <laughs> listen, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a great administration. I mean, they let me do what I have to do in the classroom. And honestly, it reflects in the work that I do because I want to be at work every morning. I want to be there. Yeah, and that shows, Mr. Jared, that's, that's coming through in your conversation. Okay. You said something earlier because I was also a high school principal. And I mean, so you started in high school and went to middle school. It usually goes the other way. I mean, it usually goes in the other direction. Oh, well, no, no, so, no, no. I started with adults first. Ah, I started with adults and like with adults, adults actually fueled my fire event because they were trying to soak up my knowledge, everything I knew, like a sponge. And I was like, man, yeah. let me see, like they're paying for this now. They're paying to get this knowledge that I have. And yeah. I said, let me see if I can do middle school. I applied to old, my old district where I was working at, applied, got the job and it was excellent. I loved the kids there. I loved everything. And I found out about the middle school. Here I am. And it's, uh, listen, I'm not going anywhere. Mayfair is where I'm at. That's, Al, that is awesome. That is awesome. And Dr. Hyde, if I could, uh, if sure. I could intervene real quick, Mr. Jarrett, you bring in some really cool speakers too, who are in the field and you expose your students to them. Can yeah. you talk yes, about some of important. those folks? Yeah, I got um, Mike Mason. He's a um, bricklayer for um, our local union here in Philadelphia. I got um, Kelly Ireland. She's a plumber for, um, she has her own business now. I think it's important that we expose our students to see faces that look like them in the industry because I asked the kids, what do you think a plumber look like? They say a fat guy. And I was like, okay, I got something for you. So I have <laughs> a video where I have a lot of plumbers that I know and they just said, Hey, um, congratulations, Mayfair CTA. I'm a plumber just so they can see the different faces in the video. Excellent. Mentoring is Excellent. real important in my classroom. Excellent. And how it's many a high young school people... program in the middle school? I'm telling you, it's a high school uh, program in the middle school. Man, we're going to have to somehow ensure, we, we may have to change some state code to get certification even earlier. I think so, you should. Because yeah. <laughs> you, we, you we were doing some magnificent time. stuff. We ready for the knocky time. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah that's, what's, that's what's up, Mr. Jarrett. And so, but, so finally, I, I mean, I know we started talking about the, the program that you're going to be featured on, and I want to make sure people can we can share we we'll, we will share the we, i want to be sure that we will share the link to the episode on a district social media 
pages so listeners can check back and see uh, the, the series that will be broadcast from your classroom on American Plumber Stories. Um, and this is, this is a series that will be highlighting some extraordinary work by this, by this teacher, Mr. Jarrett, that he's been doing, running a high school program in a middle school. And this is, this is where young people are doing actual skills that you would normally see trained in the high school CTE programs in a middle school. And this is, this is something, Mr. Jared, that I haven't seen a lot of, because usually in middle school, there's an exploratory where children just dab in. and Trust and agility. believe, you have not yeah. seen what we do. I'm sure I have not seen <laughs> what you do. And we'll, but I will be seeing it soon, I guarantee you that much. Okay. And, 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 and thank you. And, and so how do the young people learn about your program? And I'm sure once they see what the other children are experiencing, you get a lot of interest. Um, what happens is, like, for me, we have a classroom social media page where I invite the parents to so they can see what their students are doing in school just so they can, I mean, just so you can see what your son and daughter is doing. Um, yeah. And it's, it's pretty much word of mouth. I don't, like, my thing is I teach the students that come to my class. I don't pick who comes. And, like, my yeah. thing is give me 15 students, that's who I'm going to teach, and that's who I'm going to give the best that I got. Like I said, right yeah. now I'm, I'm outside a job site. I'm about to go make some connections to try to get some more mentors for the program. That's what I do. I mean, I take this seriously. Indeed, and it's good work. And and so, and do you have a chance to talk to your other colleagues that are doing anything like this, anything close to this in other middle schools? I mean, we're the only middle school. <laughs> well, no, middle they're school. K. Well, they're K eight too. So there, I mean, there's some. Oh no, I see what you're saying. You're the only middle school that's doing this program, right? So, uh -huh. it, yeah. So, I mean, I mean, I talk to a lot of programs outside of the district, outside of the state, just to see yeah. what they're doing. Like I said, I want my stuff to stay current. And like I said, I try to come up with different ways I can get the information across to the students. I don't want it to be like an old, stale program. And the yeah. thing is, like, we switch students every quarter. So I get a lot of my old students from the third quarter, I mean, second quarter, saying, we didn't do that. I don't want y'all to do the same thing. I don't want it to be a stale program. We keep it fresh. Yeah. No, that sounds good. And I, I think you may be the only middle school program of this kind in the country, uh, Mr. Chair. So yes. I, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if many are doing this and doing and having the young people experience what you described in middle school. And so I just exactly. want to, I, I just want to thank you for doing some tremendous work. I mean, with thank y'all for bringing. It. Thank y'all for and, bringing it. And I mean, I got to say thanks to Dr. Laurie because without him, this was his vision. I'm just executing it. Um, and, this was his vision. Yeah, but I mean, but you're executing it with fidelity and with excitement. And I'm sure he had he never imagined that it would grow to what you have made it become. And so, Mr. Jarrett, thank you. And, and thank you for taking time to join us this morning. And thank you for what you're doing for the young people that you're working with out there at Mayfair. I'm definitely coming by to see you in action, man. So I can't wait um, to see you and, and the work your students are doing in that classroom. Yes, sir. Indeed. So thank you. And thanks for joining us this morning on Ed Pulse, Education Pulse. And I also want to thank all of our other guests this morning, Dr. Charlotte Brickhouse, Jane Cordero, Cynthia Santiago, all three of those individuals work in the Office of Specialized Services. Diamond Cheaton, who also is a young person who graduated from Hill Friedman uh, World Academy and is an intern in the program at the School District of Philadelphia. Mr. Evan Jarrett, who you just heard from, that's running a high school program in a middle school. And it's a high school CTE program in a middle school having his young people do the same things high school students would be doing in that CTE program. And so I also want to thank our district production team of Monica Lewis, Christina Klein.